adding timing to a PLC program. In our previous lesson, we created a program that would start and stop a motor uh, when the start button is pressed and stop when the stop button is pressed. What we want to do now is to add timing to that program so that after the motor has started, it will stop automatically after, say, five seconds. To do that, we have to add a timer. Okay, so let's do that. First of all, we have to define a timer. So edit IO table, select timer. So we can give it a name that says delay, delay, stop, enter, give it a value. In Trilogy, um, the, the timing interval is defaulted at point one of a second. So we have, to, for say five seconds, we have to put in 50. Okay, and we close off. Okay, now we want to program, remember, hit the space bar to get access to the, the elements. And at this point now, we want to add in a timer. So starting at our second round, we add in a timer. Now we want the timer to start timing when the motor is running. So we start the branch here, sorry. We start this second branch with an input that is called motor right it's dependent upon the motor running and then we then program the timer so we select output and select timer and select that timer okay right so once the motor starts the timer will time now we want to cause the timer contact to cause the motor to stop. So what we have to do is to insert the, the, the relay associated with the timer into the first row. So we do that by again pressing space bar. We come to, to next to stop and we want to insert a normally closed contact that is called timer, it's called delay stop here. So we just insert that and we select delay stop and we want a normally close so we press change okay press okay all right so we are, we are, we are done with the program and now let's simulate run reset all ios if i press if i left click on the start it will start timing and and you can see here the time is counting down and when it reaches zero the motor goes off let's try that again start motor is running and as the timer counts down reaches zero the motor goes off we can try starting again and we can actually stop the motor before the timer counts down by hitting stop see that let's try that again start and we can stop okay so this concludes our second lesson in plc programming using trilogy we, we programmed a timer